Tommy Retro here. It has been a long time. I apologize for the delay in videos. It's been an extremely busy uh, 2020. I hope everyone's doing well. Hopefully uh, you're doing uh, well, especially uh, with COVID-19 going on and looks like things are getting better. So that's good. We're moving in the right direction. And I hope everyone out there is staying healthy. But wanted to get back on it here, get back on some videos and let you know what I've been up to. Again, sorry for the uh, for being absent from the video scene. It's just been super busy between work and uh, things in, in the bus world. But uh, done a lot of infrastructure projects around here. You'll see lots of new um, roadway, gravel parking areas, whatnot. Um, you'll see what I've been up to. But anyways, just wanna make a quick video because this is a new acquisition uh, probably about a month or two ago this is a 1971 carpenter school bus uh, it's a rv conversion and it is done right it's uh it was formerly from the springfield illinois area operated as a school bus up to around the year 2000 somewhere in the late 90s then it was painted white and used in i believe church service of some sort up until about the year 2005. so 2005 this was sold and uh the man who purchased it he was uh the man i bought this from out of decatur illinois uh, he did the conversion and he did a great job. Um, he kept a lot of school bus characteristics, a lot of school bus um, historical, historically significant items, and we'll kind of go through those things. But we'll take a look. First, we'll take a walk around. You can see it's got the outward opening doors. As always, we've got Evelyn here in the driver's seat. <laughs> Evelyn, you like this bus? Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun one, isn't it? It's our first conversion. Uh, you can come up and see everything. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to walk around the outside first, then we're going to come in. Uh-huh. All right, so see we're going to... See you guys. All right, bye, sweetie. We'll be back in just a minute. Mm -hmm. So take a walk around. You see it had the underbody storage. And I really like it because he kept in his conversion... He kept all the windows in place, just used some curtains. You can see I have some open. Got uh, 12R tires all the way around. It has a 427 gas engine. I'm going to have to get my square key out to get the, uh, get the engine compartment open for you guys. But you can see up at the top here um, where the refrigeration unit was. That was uh, for the air conditioning. So the one thing that he said he regrets that he did was remove the factory air conditioning. So you can see that's the area where it used to sit. Big, uh, big condensing unit up there. So he did remove that, um, which it had a separate gas engine that would power the... Um, that would power the air conditioning and it would have been located right under here you can see i've got the emergency door open we'll give you a tour of the inside when we get in we were actually winterizing this today see down here was the uh, the gas engine for the air conditioning as well as the compressor the ac compressor you can see down here oh there's evelyn again <laughs> I was just showing them, sweetie, how the uh, how this bus originally worked with the air conditioning, and then I was just showing them some of the different ports and things uh, for the fresh water. But uh, see some connections down here. We're winterizing today, so getting everything drained out and uh, uh, set for winter time. Now we'll go around the front. And we'll go inside. I don't know if I told you this has got a 427. Uh, V8 gas it originally had come on sweetie show us show us the uh, the inside here mm -hmm. it's really nice and inside so 
Then I like build in the sofa, build in these chairs and everything. They certainly did a nice job. While we're in here, I just want to show a couple things that I really like. You know, the man who did the conversion on this, he repainted the roof, but he used the original color. Um, kept the, you know, the school bus lighting, kept a lot of things. Again, all the windows are here. You can see it's got the plenum for the air conditioning on both sides. So air conditioning has been removed, but the plenum's there, and that was used for a wireway and different things to get... Uh, you know utilities through the bus it's got two of the rooftop air conditioning units they work well but take a look at this this is what I really like the driver's quarters other than having a replacement air ride seat is 100% original uh, taking a look at the bulkhead here it's got your classic um, you know school bus writing and uh, notifications no eating or drinking on bus no gum chewing on bus no standees permitted max seating capacity 79 keep feet on the floor at all times look at that that's all original so this man appreciated the school bus history you can see everything is done very tastefully added a radio down here here's the the breakers for the uh, AC power throughout the bus there's the switch panel the original door control heater and uh, entry doors but I really appreciate that the uh, the driver's quarters is nearly 100% original if you walk through the bus all right Evelyn you're showing the uh, the pull out drawers and stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did a nice job. Why don't you show us the bathroom? Uh -huh. this is, this is so you can see this is just a little kitchenette area. It's got a sink. We've winterized all this, so we pressurized the system, blew out all of the um, plumbing so it doesn't freeze and break. And here's a small bathroom. <laughs> so here's the bathroom area. You can see it's got a nice shower here. Plenty of room in here, nice sink, Ooh. toilet facilities, again all winterized and ready to put up for the winter. We continue on here, this bus had originally full length racks like this, as well as coach seating. This bus was really outfitted nice, it was uh, talk about a high trim package for the day, um, it was not a cheap bus. This bus originally had the big six gas engine in it, the 478 v V6 gas, the big Chevy V6 gas, and then it was replaced at 70,000 miles with the 427 uh, when it uh, had a problem of some sort. But uh, take a look here, you got the hot water heater. Again, we got the valves open, everything is drained down. Underneath the bed here, there are two 100 gallon. Uh, fresh water tanks they're just conventional horizontally mounted um, hydro pressure tanks with bladders in them so like your big blue tanks that you normally see in a residential application that's now a storage area that's would have been where the evaporator coil would have been mounted for the air conditioning up in here there's the second rooftop unit air conditioner but again very tastefully done I like the uh, you know, keeping the windows um, and the school bus characteristics. It's got a nice retro theme. This was built out as an RV in about 20, like 2005, 2006. So it was about 15 years on the conversion itself. Um, but just uh, totally excited. We saw this pop on eBay and we're going to take a look at it and then it uh, it got to be a little more expensive than we can afford so we backed off of it had a nice conversation with the seller um, but uh, but then as it went up and up and away we backed off and uh, that was it but luckily we got a phone call a little bit later that um, 
the uh, the winning bidder did not contact them um, and so the bus was still for sale I did say that I could not afford anywhere uh, near what the bus sold for uh, but he was able, he was willing to work with me on the price and I was able to get this bus significantly less and he was just happy to see it go to someone who was going to appreciate it and preserve it um, for its historical significance. So much appreciated. And also, also told them his name too, so they know him. Well, now, taking a look under here, you can see the original specs. So you can see there that engine. V6 478, big V6 gas. So, pretty cool. You know what his name was, sweetie? I just remembered. Because I am the I am the worst person in the world with names. And I'm surprised I remember this. But his name was Kevin. Oh yeah, Kevin. That's right. So Kevin from Decatur, Illinois. So if you're watching out there, Kevin, Thank you, uh, much appreciated. This bus will be preserved and appreciated. Let's take a quick look at the engine compartment. It's a rear engine pusher, it's got a T drive. I believe it's got the Allison MT42 automatic transmission. All right, so we open this up, take a look at this big V8 gas engine back here all right get this open you see how they've mounted the radiator on the left side here another thing we're doing around here is we are checking coolant checking freeze points so while I've got this open I'll get my my uh, test bulb and check the uh, the freeze point of the coolant make sure there's going to be no surprises so you can see here's some of the work that's been done uh, for the RV uh, you know inverter wiring and whatnot uh, here's your rear start panel so you can control the engine from the rear V-belt central here Again, this is a 427 gas tucked inside of there. I've got a power steering leak I need to address, but other than that, it's, it uh, does well. Um, just from sitting the air compressor governor sticks a little bit, but uh, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. It's a nice, nice old bus, and uh, we are excited to have it. 1971 it's the year 2020 this bus is almost 50 years old so you can see here was our setup we were just draining the uh, the black water tank and uh, getting everything cleaned up today so again you're gonna see more videos coming your way I've got a lot of content from the years past that I'm gonna get online, but just wanna take the opportunity before this one goes back in the barn to shoot a quick video showing our newest acquisition. So with that, I thank everyone for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night.